All right, so this is another series of the New Champions Protocol. This is Game Night's New Champions Protocol. We are using the Hero mod that is developed by Brennell. And tonight we have lots of uh, things planned. This is actually going to be a two-night session. We are late night. Some of our folks are even after midnight as we start. So if you hear yawns and, and weeping, it's because it's late. Um, or because we killed someone. So, you know, we would never do that here. That's actually a rule. I don't kill characters. Um, but uh, we have good good things planned. The folks playing tonight. Uh, Pam Piper playing Ghost. Kurt SG playing Dragon Lady. Alphoria. This is the first time Alphoria is playing with the new champions. Uh, she is playing the Yay. character. Yay. Welcome, Alphoria. Welcome. Thank you. Oh, welcome. She's playing the character Sharp. Um, Amaraka playing the character Cypher and his wretched minion bots. I, I use the adjective wretched, to wretched but there, he thinks they're beautiful. <laughs> Dirty Bird don't is, kill any characters, but no promises on the robots. Yeah, I mean, never problems <laughs> with robots. Thirty Bird is on the table tonight, um, but likely is not to, not going to play. But Thirty Bird plays Liliana, and Rampage playing Sand Crab. Um, this is a storyline session, so it really is going to into follow individual stories um, and um, um, just things driven by character complications, kind of background storylines. So tonight, the first storyline begins with Dragon Lady. And Dragon Lady um, just... Dragon Lady um, had just defeated alongside the Ancestor and Ghost, um, kind of a little swarm of air agents that had swarmed around the cabin um, where Socrates had kind of stashed um, Lao Jin, who... Uh, is an expert on ancestors and was actually writing a book. The, the new champions interacted with Lao Jin back in the day. Actually, it was Ghost that first interacted with Lao Jin in Tianjin, the city, uh, coast, I think it's a coastal city in, in China. Um, and Lao Jin actually needs to go back there to get um, some information related to those people who were uh, ancestors or like could be potentially uh, ancestors. Uh, in the ancestral lines, is that is what Lao Jin, excuse me, that is what Dragon Lady has been tasked with by the Yangtao Temple, um, and of course um, to uh, to try to restore some of those ancestors who have been destroyed through the the scenes that have previously happened. It has weakened the spirit realm. Um, um, Dragon Lady, anything you want to add as far as Dragon Lady's perspective on this and? kind of intentions, but I'm, I'm basically saying that you're making your way back to to China, uh, and, and and as you do that, whether it's being jumped there by sand crabs, big jump, or I don't know if you can actually take people, or maybe a little rocket portal, you know, runs you there, or ghost flies you there fast, or something like that, but we get there. Anything you're thinking, trying to accomplish as you get there? Uh, well, definitely going to go there uh, in disguise as Detective Wong, uh, just to allay, uh, just to minimize uh, minimize suspicion. After all, I do have connections among uh, the Chinese uh, Chinese bureaucracy, um, and uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, trying to trying to lay low and not attract any attention. Okay, um, so you will be in secret ID, not in heroic ID, and trying to make your way back to the kind of the high rises where um, Lao Jin lives. That's where he's going. Um, we're going to load that scene up and what I'm going to ask for the players to do, the other players, well, I'm going to ask everybody just to wait for a second. Okay. And hold on okay. to your butts. It's about to, we're about to load a I've actually never said that. Is that Spaceballs? Where, where does that hold on to your butts? Where does that come from? Ah, uh, that's uh, Jurassic Park. Samuel SLJ's character says that. <laughs> that's awesome. Like, yeah, he says that like when they're trying to reboot the computer system after uh, um, Wayne Knight, Dennis Nedry uh, shuts shuts it down and and uh, yeah, drives everyone crazy while he's you know trying to escape with the embryos, but uh, he is of course ambushed by a bunch of spitters and uh, eaten. As he rightfully deserved. Yeah, one of our favorite scenes. Indeed. Although, personally, my favorite part is when the lawyer gets eaten on the toilet. <laughs> by the T-Rex. Hey, spoilers. 
No, you no, haven't no. seen Jurassic Park? Just That's kidding. Seen Jurassic Park. Just kidding. That's funny. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, this scene is really Dragon Lady's scene, but I'm going to assign um, everybody else uh, some of the bad guys. Some of them, oh. some of them, I'm going to assign um, multiple ones just because you deserve that punishment. Uh, <laughs> Kurt is not that. Um, okay. 30 Bird, if you want to play one of these bad guys, I'll sign one. If not, this is totally yours to watch. Amber Rack has already got. Well, just one? I gave you two. I just fixed I'll it. Pass. I'm just observing. Okay, I'll stop asking now. Thanks. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you. I'm going to go to bed soon. <laughs> what if it's riveting? Is, is this like a back alley way? Is that why it's a one lane road? Or is that truck just really big? No, it's a back alley way, one lane road. Um, gotcha. And um, there's two ways to get into this um, this alley where um, where Lajin lives. Um, he lives... If you see behind the red... Um, behind the box truck, there's a red door. He's got to get past the, the box truck, right? That's where he lives. So um, you, Dragon Lady, can choose where you go, um, where you come at. And I'm going to bring, I think I have, do I not have? Oh, of course I don't have him. Where is he at? It is important that Lil Jin doesn't die Right. So I'm going to bring him onto the table. Forgive me, I've got some assets I've got to bring on, so hopefully we don't lose everybody. Amazing. What's that? This set's amazing. Well, thank you. That is a cool set. I like I'm about to get attacked by sand crab. Okay, so I'll We probably would be entering there, most likely. Well, Lil Jin is not um, his. I need to add a collider uh, and his base. But until then, I will just lock him and lock him up. And gizmo tool. Oh yeah, I got him. Okay, so Lil Jin is in the is in the dragon lady is not having a good time of it, huh? Nah, nah. I just I was trying to put myself right in the middle of a square uh, of a square slash hex, but it's just like nah. You're kind of like uh, kind of in between two. Yeah. Okay. We can we can force you there by using the move tool. Yeah, if you want uh, to somewhere, lock it and gizmo it. But um, okay. So yeah, he, this is fine. We we can't gizmo because we're not you know. It's dangerous. Promoted. I don't. I'm not. Tr I don't trust people very much, but. Uh... Okay, so you come down this alleyway and um, you see um, a number of, and you would immediately notice them, um, uh, Dragon Lady. You know these are Wu's henchmen. Dr. Ah, Wu's yes. henchmen. And ah, nice. this is the dark alley. They see you, you see them, eyes peel. Um, and it's you know like noise in the distance and and it it is clear that they haven't seen you in a long time, um, but they remember who you are. Well, no, but oh, they yeah. know you in secret ID. Yeah, because that was well, I am in they, secret ID. Yeah, but they they were the ones that tried to off you in secret ID, right? Correct. Yep. Yep. So, okay. although I was I was much smaller and weaker then. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know what's about to come and hit them. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so um, we're about to do this. So Dragon ladies in combat. Um, any any soliloquy that you want to add right now? You certainly can. Um, uh, right, yeah. She will say. Uh, she will say to um, to uh, Lao Jin. She will say to say, say to him, "Get behind me. These are uh, these are do uh, these are Doctor Yin Wu's men. Um, I have waited a I have waited a long time for this." And she kind of claps her hands together, concentrates, 
and uh, yeah, sort of summons for summons forth her costume, and uh, yeah, gets uh, and gets in a fighting stance. I I hit her while she's transforming. <laughs> ah, but see, I don't have OAID, so it's, it's, oh. I, can, I can do. Alas, I'm afraid I can do it as a zero phase. That's awesome. So Lojan runs to the side here and like hides in the corner. I know you said get behind him, but he he didn't listen. He he went off into the, the corner. Hopefully, he's smart. Was, hopefully, oh, okay. it's strategically valuable. Uh, so strategically, let me see if I can move him a little bit better than that. He was aware of knockback, so he decided the wall was safer. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. Right into the knockback. Okay. So let's do the combat. Let's see. Do they go before you? They do. They all go before you. It's wonderful. Wow. So, uh, Woo Warrior number two goes first. That's one of Sand Crabs, I think. Yep. I've tried to write notes in these documents to help you realize what they all have, um, uh, Warrior folks. I hope it's very clear. Um, and if none of you all are. Um, familiar with the second power, um, just don't use it. <laughs> if you or the first, um, yeah. Where where is it that I'm seeing these notes? In the dice rolls, you should see. I just labeled the powers with some of the features they have on it. Well, the one that I expect you all to use. And where do I see the dice rolls? In Under the dice rolls. Dice rolls. You go to Woo Warrior number, whichever one you are. Oh, I see. Yeah. I didn't slip. Ah, super. Right. Ah, uh, well, Woo Warrior number two going first. He, his, his Woo Warrior number one was a little asleep. So Woo Warrior number two <laughs> yells at him and says, "Hey, stupid! Wake up! Look, there she is!" <laughs> oh, that's and awesome. runs that direction. Fantastic. So, I uh, so um, his half move is. I'm sure the GM knows. Mm -hmm. Is how far? Oh, I thought you were needing it. Uh, 22 and running, so 11. So he will move. Uh, he doesn't have measuring turned on. Doesn't that bother you? Yeah, let's see. Can we measuring. turn measuring on, or do we have to have promotion to do that? No, you can do it. Just right-click on your character. Hey, look at that. 11 meters. He, he is 22, you said? Yeah, 22 full. Is the scale correct right now? That seems awfully far, and it seems like it's further than eight, but maybe so I'm wrong. So, each person is about a hex wide. All right, a well, cool. He can, make a half, he can make a half move to her, then. Fantastic. Some of the box colliders on the floor are a little wonky, so just, um, if you have to gizmo, I'm sorry. All right. all right. Well, she is going as soon as yeah, as soon as she sees the bunch of them approaching, she'll abort to uh, do her Pakua block. Right. Uh, so, because I'll be blocking all your he, life. He's to her. I'll put her to her in a minute, and uh, he makes his attack roll. Uh, whip. Oh no! Wait, does it, was it, does he have to draw his sword? No, he has them in hand. Uh, the the models don't have it, but they would. They would. Well, I don't know. I don't know. In this moment, they weren't swords out. They were monitoring the alleyway. So when they saw Kurt, when they saw Dragon Lady come in, maybe they did all just bring their swords out, but. That's uh. Hey, Nat, they run brought... with swords out. It hurts. When you fall. <laughs> <laughs> In that case, yeah, he, yeah. Wouldn't, he wouldn't go all the way to her. Instead, he would just go to one and draw out a sword. Okay, is he holding a half right. phase or is he? Um, what is he? Doing? No, that's full. It's, it's full action to draw a weapon. is a half phase action, right? Uh, I think if it has charges, yes. But if it doesn't have any charges, then it's not. Yeah, and I haven't bought it that way. These guys are always ready to fight. Uh, half move and draw the sword would be normal. Half move and draw the sword. And yeah. woo, woo number one, uh, is that my other guy I get? No, you're number three on the other one. Number one is um, actually uh, Alphoria. Way she, down the bottom. She goes last for some reason. It, it sorted it weird. I'm sorry, Al. All right. No worries. Okay. No worries. So number three is where? Number one, you are last. Huh. First number three last. is way down here. He's standing guard. Ah. He's, uh, yeah. he's standing guard. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> so he can't really see what's going on where he is. Nope. So he's going to move behind the truck and look through the glass of the windows to see what's going on. Nice. So he'll 
he'll uh, look that direction and make a perception roll. Um, is this their truck? Yeah, it is. And actually, um, Woos 7 goes in the next order. I don't know why it's out of order of the... You see it um, in the combat order. It goes 2, 7, 8, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1. Well, th some of them are slightly faster than others, so that's why it's that way. You know, number one, he was just kind of taking a nap. <laughs> no trouble on the street, chilling. So, you know, it's, it's after midnight where he lives. It's <laughs> oh. uh -huh. Okay, well, number seven is the next person. Is All that... the bad guys aware that uh, an opponent has just shown up? Uh, well, number, it. Yeah. number two screamed or, or yelled at woo number one. So yeah. they might have overheard him. You might have to make a perception roll. Yeah, yeah. They don't have comms or anything like that either, so they're you would just have to hear from down the other side of the alley. If you'll make Oh, uh, we shall fool them all. We shall speak Chinese. No one will understand us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Except this is China, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> and Dragon Lady speaks <laughs> Chinese. Yes, yeah. Yes, yeah. 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 We all Number seven knows we something's right. going on. So. Yeah, yeah. He casually starts speaking French. Oh. <laughs> okay, so Seven, you're moving down there. Um, what yeah, are you Seven moves to the door to uh, to protect uh, the entrance because he's not 100% sure what's going on. Okay. Um, and, uh, that would have been a half. It's a half, and you know he's reserving a half phase in case something comes swooping out of the heavens to carry him away. Okay, uh, Wu Eight is going to stay down. Um, he must be looking for something in the garbage over here. I don't understand what he's doing over there, but he is just going to hold. And actually, I'm not even going to hold him. He's just sitting down there. He's not in combat. For... Okay, Wu Three, you made your perception roll. You see through the. Well, I don't know. Those are pretty dirty windows, but you see through the window and you see your um, your clansmen um, down here. Moving in synchrony, uh, interesting, um, and maybe you even see Dragon Lady because she is standing between the two. So Warrior Three, what are you doing? Same crap. Uh, Warrior Three, I thought I already told you what he was doing. He went to the uh, side of the truck to look through the truck at the uh, what was going on down the street. Yeah, and he sees everything that's going on down there. Okay, that's it. That's all he's doing. Uh, he and Delane. <gasps> oh, okay, so he's going to hold half a face because he moved and then perception rolled. So that would be... Well, I don't know. He a full, that would be yeah, a full phase. So he's done. All right. All right. Okay, warrior four and five. Um, for... Number four and five. Very good. Warrior number four says, Ha ha, number five, you up in the air. You big foolish man up there. And he will come running down. I appreciate that all of the Woo warriors that were guarding the entrance to where the box truck was have just abandoned that entrance. <laughs> we can, we're enough. still there. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, you, gotta, you just gotta see what's going on. You didn't like my entry location, so that's cool. Got it. Okay. So, okay. what did so you do? So, the number four will run halfway down and draw his weapon. And if that and if uh, if drawing is a free action, then he will uh, hold a half phase. I believe it is, unless it's like it has charges. That's that's when it is not. Well, we're we're playing it in this scene as if it takes a half. So everybody that has everybody okay. has, has drawn it. So four moved and drew his sword. Um, yes. Do you draw both swords uh, on your? You, you won't yes. get the okay because you won't get the benefit of one of the label items on there um, okay. if you don't have both swords drawn. Okay. Dual sword with the katanas. Okay. Uh, well, for you, warrior five. Um, Number five is just going to hold. Period. Left full hold action. Hold phase. Okay. Well, warrior number six. This is Pan mm -hmm. Piper. What are you? What are you doing? He's going to climb up on top of the box truck so he can get a better look. Uh, and then he'll do a uh, perception roll to see if he can understand what's going on. Yes, and we are yelling at each other and running down the lane. what's going on. Yeah. And he'll draw both swords. Okay. Ooh. Well, you're number one up in the front. It's your turn. Ah. Oh, well, one is out. What do you do? Yeah, uh, Woo Warrior number one uh, moves Large. partially to get behind, like, 
the wall, not fully, but enough to where they'd have partial cover. Ooh. Strategic. Do you um, pull your swords out? Yes. Awesome. So that's your full move. Um, guys, what's the benefit of partial cover? Is that, uh, do I get, should I get a plus two to DCV for range? I believe so. I'll look it up for you. Okay, thank you. Strategic. I have my handy, uh, I have my handy champions complete next to me. So let me pull that out. I think it's funny though. Um, Dragon Lady transforms into her her Dragon Lady self and like speaks. Uh, some, I forget what Dragon Lady said. And Blue Warrior like runs backward and hides. <laughs> 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 it's okay. She's still drawing swords. Okay, Dragon Lady, it's your turn. So would you say that two thirds of the body is showing? Half. Or half of the body is showing? Half. So half gives uh, plus two DCV. Yeah. That's, what I'm yeah. That's on page 145 there, Kurt. Okay. Yep. I saw it right. I saw it too. All right. Well, since, yeah, none of you guys got close to me, I didn't need to abort. Well, so, all right. In that case, then, I will close in. Um, yeah. Let's see if I can actually get it to balance. Yeah. There you go. Okay, and let's see. As I go, uh, as I go, go running. I'll uh, do the dragon's power flows. I say the dragon's power flow. The dragon's power flows to me, and uh, and yeah. yeah, and so I get plus two to OCV and DCV. Yeah. And <laughs> yep. All right, and yeah. I just as I go running, I'll do uh, I'll do a flying kick on. Uh, or just well, I'll just do a regular old kick on uh, Woo Warrior too. No, I would no. do a martial kick, not a yeah. Well, that's kick. a kung fu kick. In fact, is what I'm doing. Well, there's the, there's a difference between my regular kick and the flying kick. The flying kick is basically like a char. It's effectively a charge. Yeah. All right, so kung fu kick and. I'm still going to put my two with hand-to-hand. -hand. I'm still going to... I'll just keep them into... Um, eh, actually, actually, uh, actually, for this time around, I think I'll I'll put them into OCV, because I want to hit this time. Next, next, next phase, I might put that into DCV, but we shall see. All right, click on the Kung Fu Kick and see what we get. Okay, uh, so actually that Fu should be... Strong. All right, so... The, yeah, that should be a DCV of nine because I got. Oh, a hits bonus. a seven, seven or less or nine or less. Uh, I'd be uh, well, it's a plus two to that, so it hits a nine. <laughs> it's nine oh, or less. Okay. Yeah. In that case, your kung fu is strong, and he he hits. Yep. Yeah, well, I'll take actually uh, an extra plus two, so it would be eleven. But eh, it's a mid point. Okay, righto. So let's see, roll maker, and then this will be yep twelve d six. Is normal. Hmm. Ah, rather weak roll. Only, only thirty stun and nine body. Oh dear. Okay, he takes some stun. He doesn't take any body. And you want to roll for knockback? Okay. Yeah, this is doubtful because it's. Going to be 3d6 because it's a martial maneuver, but let's see. <sighs> okay, so that's 10. Yep, none. No knockback. Good thing because he's not very good at breakfall. Oh, yeah, I didn't. Hey, guys. No skills. No skills. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. They, with experience points, they can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can you yeah. have it as a no man skill? At yeah, really. Less? The <laughs> martial folks should have it. Uh, I think. <laughs> I think that it, you'll get a, at least every, the eight or less on all of them. Yeah. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. I just built their, their attack, so what else do you need? Right, right. Okay, so Dragon Lady comes in and does a kick against the first World Warrior that didn't get out of the way, but he takes it. Hey, he takes some stun. He, oh! He lets out yep. a grunt. Okay, so you've got some held actions on five. We're past post-12. We are, so the, the five and seven lost their actions unless you want to do something with them. On segment one. Yep, I just skipped through it accidentally, but do you want to do something five and seven? Yes. Seven does not. Okay. Uh, five 
would like to climb up onto the roof up here. Oh, up here. Okay. Maybe a death from above or something. Might turn out to be a death upon landing if he tries it. <laughs> I do think you have enough leaping to do it. Ah. I've built do I have it. leaping? Yeah, I do. I have do. leaping at all? Yes, all the Woo Warriors have leaping. Um, I just put leaping instead of climbing just for the movement okay. sake, but you all, can, 20, you all can do it. 20 meters. Oh my goodness. So, But it's the kind of very much the, the parkour ta 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 where you're just like jumping up the building, that kind of thing. Very nice. Good. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So, yeah. so how far up would that be? About three meters up? Five. Five up? Yep. Just... Uh, it's, if it's, if it's a half move, ten is a full move. Okay. So what I want to do is I'll jump up to the top here. And there. And then run along to here, to the edge, and that would be the end of segment one. And then when, on my turn on segment two, I'm going to jump across the other way. Nice. Oh, that's cool. Like to the other side of the building? Like the other side of the... That's cool. Okay. Um, seven did do think so. It's two's turn. He took a hit. What happens next? Two. Ah, well. He will, with his swords drawn, um, make a offensive strike. All right. Dragon Lady is going to uh, abort her too, and she's going to abort to a Pakua block. Okay. Uh, technically, by the way, that's called Pakua. Uh, and, Pakua. And, and, yeah, you're and probably I'm correct. realizing that I think she he may not have an offensive strike. So in that case, oh no, he's only got defensive strikes. Yeah. Yeah. In that case, he's going to do a defensive strike because I misspoke. Uh, do you want to change your action? Okay. Nah, I'm still. I am still actually going to. Okay, so uh, I'm still going to. Still going to do a block. Yeah, okay. still going to do a block. Is uh still a plus one action at uh, plus three to his DCV. He yep. Makes and uh, well, technically she gets her hers first. So okay, let's see. Your, your what's your your OCV is ten. Let's see. So I get a plus two to my DCV from the maneuver. Another plus two from my. Uh, a hand to hand skill levels, and then another pl another plus two from the dragon pow power flow to me. So it's effectively plus six. So I hit a OCV of 14. Okay, you successfully block him. <sighs> Did you make the roll? Oh, yeah. Yep. I got, I got it at eight, but it's plus six, so it's a 14. You know that in the in the maneuver, when you do the Pakua block? Yeah, yeah, can I change that? You, you can actually, in the white section, you can put the plus six there, and then it'll show up properly. Oh, cool. I did not know that. Thank you. No problems. Warrior number seven, are you going to engage? Uh, he's going to dutifully guard the door. Yes, thank you, someone is awesome. <laughs> so he's going to hold us. Action warrior number eight is not engaging in this combat. Warrior number three. Warrior number three. Do they have any ranged weapons? No. They do not no. have stars. All right. Um, he's going to soliloquy to the drivers in the truck. Hurry up, hurry up. Back it up. Block the door. Block the door. And delay. Four and five, what do you do? Okay, four will hold. Full hold. Five will continue and and leap across to here. Where? Okay, let me move in there. So, yeah. Oh, no problem. I don't know if he will stay or not. Let's see. Ah! That's done. <laughs> it should work. Let's see. You, you a, could just lock me. You could just lock me in place. There if, is a uh, box collider there. It should do it. It should do it. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Placement, y'all. Placement. Okay, so that's the end of his turn. The jump, or is he? Does he get more action? Um. Well, the leap. I I believe that a leap uses your full phase. No, you can, have, you, can have, sure you, can have, you can have phase jump as long as it's only half the distance. 
Yeah, it's swinging. Really I think swinging does that, but leaping I don't think does. Which doesn't make sense to me, but sure. Okay, then what I'll do is I will run to the end here. Oh, great. All that positioning for nothing. No, 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 it's to get me to the end. End of the world. Feels, feels pretty good. But you're not going to attack. You're going to only going to move. Yes. Okay, if you'll place yourself where you'll be. Okay. Warrior number six is on top of the truck. What is Warrior yeah, six? He's doing an action. He's also guarding the door. And from his position, he can clearly see what's going on. Okay. So he'll keep everybody else in oh, that. I made it right to the end. Dragon Lady, uh, excuse me, uh, Warrior One, what do you do? You have cover, you have your swords drawn, you have seen Dragon Lady uh, defending a kick or a block against uh, Who Warrior Two. I think he's just going to straight up attack with go. his swords. Okay, so you have to make a move to get to you can it's less than half of a move so you have for your total movement you have 22 of running if you take uh -huh. less than half of that you can still attack but attacking ends your turn so you're going to move your character close to dragon lady and then what are you going to do attack with swords i believe so okay things escalated quickly why don't you move yourself close to dragon lady okay like here? You gotta be next to her because you're attacking oh, okay. with a non ranged weapon. Oh, true. It's okay. like there. There you go. And now make your two. Throw your sword! Throw your sword! So, like, uh... in the dice rolls tab, there is the two hit. That's where you want to hit. Okay. Go. Oh. This says editing two hit roll. Yeah. yeah, it can't there hit the target. You have to hit the words, but. Okay, yes. the dilemma will be that Dragon Lady is um, blocking, is doing this Pakwabok, and it's like very mysterious looking, but she's basically getting defensive bonuses from it. Did she's going to be hard to hit. Did yep, you, kind of the idea. Did you press the two hit, um, Hal? I did. The words? I rolled a one, a five, and a six. I'll see it. All right, so I did did include my bonus with that one. Um, yep, so I include my bonus, but I, it, it was at a minus two because this is an additional attacker. So uh, let's see. I block an OCV of 14 or less. I rolled a 12. Well, but it's not even your roll at this point because he's blocking. Uh, he's not even defending your attack. He's blocking your attack. So he, interesting. he blocks. How do you block these? sharp katana blades not not questioning you just the special effect what do you do oh sure sure well it's basically she just uh i mean she I effectively know. has she effectively just has super strength and her and uh her hands just are due to the blessing of the yangtown temple like are are roughly i mean are roughly about as strong as like uh chain mail <laughs> so that i mean she's she's literally just blocking them blocking them with her bare hands that's cool did anybody else see um, Alphoria's rolls? I don't see them in the chats. Uh, I don't see them either. It showed me. I'm going to roll your two hit and see if I see it. Yeah, I do see it. I just did it. But that, Al, when you roll, what are you actually pressing? You're pressing the target itself, like the image of the yeah, target, or the words the to hit? The two hit button. I clicked him again. Can you see it? I see it this time, yes. Okay. Yeah, I see it too. Okay, so it's weird. what is, and I don't know if this is right, but it's an auto fire attack. Do you have to block both auto fires to roll against two of those attacks if it would have hit your normal no. DCB? If the first one doesn't hit, the second one doesn't even roll. Mm -hmm. uh, ba basically, um, Auto fire is if they make their their roll by more than two, or by two or more, they they hit with both hits. Yeah, I was just. I was, if the first one gets blocked, then well, nothing hit. Okay, uh, fair enough. All right, so um, this one Wu warrior swings with the swords, and Dragon Lady um, just physically blocks them with her hands. Dragon Lady. 
And he shot. Ah, well, she aborted. He's stronger than she looks. Oh, yes, that's awesome, because they didn't know that before. Right, mm -hmm. yep. I am no longer the weak, the, the weak little normal police officer you fought last time. We've got lots of held actions. Anybody want to do anything with them before they move on? We're on, seg nope. we're on segment three. I'm about to be into segment three. We're in segment on three. Segment, on segment three, I will move, but seven and three are before me. Huh? Seven, you want to do anything? Uh, no, seven is guarding the door. Okay, so seven will... No. Um, warrior three, do you want to do anything? Uh, he's also going to continue where he's at, guarding the door and asking the box truck to... Uh, what door are they... They're guarding the red door, right? No, box truck people are backing up, going into that roll-top garage thing that they're in front of, and it's rolling up. So they're waiting I... for the roll-top thing to open up. Gotcha. And are they part of the Woo crew? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. It's a shysty heisty. Okay, so he's speaking, but he's not going to do anything else. Right. Okay. So he's just delaying, basically. Well, I think he's going to lose after a second. That's what I was saying. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, Warrior 4 and 6 hey. will get a chance for you to do anything. All right. Uh, number 4 will do a leap and end up behind the dragon lady. Ooh, oh. Oh. Nice. You go for a flank attack. Nice. All right, let's see if I can block you, because if I fail to block you, then you will get uh, the attack from behind bonus. All right, now I'm down to plus two. Okay, uh, let's see. Yeah, now it looks like, uh, yeah, it looks like I failed to block you, because I think you... Yep. All right. So let's see. So I do get from my block. I get a plus three to uh, plus three to DCV, and I do also have an additional plus two. So that's a thirteen. Uh, so that'll be half in my favor. You just have to hit a seven because you're hitting me from behind, and I don't have defense maneuver. Or less. Okay, that hits me. Yeah. That's a great so, does a, so if a fourteen hits you, does a twelve hit you? Uh, yes, that would as well. That means you get uh, hit twice. The first attack does 15 and 15, penetrating. So that means that you take... Was it one body? No. It's uh, one body you, for each of the dice. Yeah, full do, dice. Do you have um, the thing that protects you from... Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't buy. Uh, I didn't buy combat luck with this character. So now I do take a, I do take a point of body and stun from the penetrating attack. Okay. Uh, technically, it's three body and three stun because they're rolling three dice. Ah, yes. The second yeah. one yeah. does uh, fifteen body and thirty stun. Okay. Ah, and I take five stun from that. And, and three more body. Immediately impressed yep. by number four. That's yeah, a no. lot of damage. That's serious. That yes, is. yes, it is. You're getting slashed up. I am. Yep. Okay. These are very, very tough opponents. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um. You should have let us woo you. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> um. You need to make an emergency broadcast to Ghost, and then survive the next uh, uh, 30 seconds. Right, yeah. <laughs> so, um, how bad off are you right now, by the way? Do you mind? Oh, I'm at 9 body. I'm at 9 body and 41 stun now. Okay. Okay, so, Woo Warrior number 6. Hey. Where is 6? There was a held action from six, but is six not taking it right? That's Pete. Pete. Oh, I uh, know he's uh, still uh, he's guarding that uh, that area. Okay. It, it's traditional. It's traditional with martial artists to never gang up too much on one person. They they need to like be able to deal with their attacker honorably. You see, oh, while yes. the rest hang back. So the actual idea is to send a few at, at a time so that you wear them down by endurance, and then the last guy can take them out. Exactly. And take all the credit. 
<laughs> Wood Warrior number two, what do you do? You've seen this slashing from behind uh, of one of your of your clan. Blood weeping from dragon ladies. What is it? Hand, where, ha, where would they have hit you from? From your side? Probably the back. From Probably the, the back. back. From yeah. the back. Oh. Cuts through our armor, too. Yeah. He's... He's a nasty, nasty. Yep. You'd think he was a game master or something. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Where were you two? What do you do? That's Sand Trap. Oh, sorry. It's okay. I was, I was looking for that. I, I don't ha my my uh, warrior two doesn't have that kind of attack that does AP does it? It does. They all have the same. Really, I don't see where it's That's described. That's katana swords. I must be missing it. It's a penetrating, not armor piercing. Katana swords. Oh, flying where, swords. Where do I find oh, that? No. Katana it says swords. Katana swords. Two auto fire penetrating. It says it right there. Under, under what? Under, dice, under maneuvers? Under dice or rolls. Under, under dice rolls. Under dice rolls. Yeah. There we go. Gotcha. Yes. That's what he'll do. <laughs> oh, but you got to hit her first, huh? All right. Well, I can I still try to block him. I understand now. <laughs> I can still try to block him, but this I'm just even up him. now. Yep. We'll still even up now. Well, actually, if you block now, you're back to your full blockage. Because I attacked you last segment. Oh, okay. So it's a new segment? Mm -hmm. It's a new segment. Okay. All right. Well, okay. In that case, all right. Plus six instead. Okay. Righto. Oh, technically, and I think I get to f go first as well. So if this is segment four, I get to go before all you guys. I believe so. that is true. Yep. yep. All right. You get to go before everybody except number four because you didn't block yep. him. That's correct. Yeah, number four will get to go before me. Okay, so instead of the two, so Dragon Lady, you're getting to go, but I will say four act first. So I'm basically going to skip a bunch of the order. It says it says two, but four yes. goes first. All right, okay. we'll, del we'll, we'll negate the number two's actions then. Yeah, yeah, we'll get, we'll get back. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold everybody's... Now you're at four. Okay. So um, now number four... Um, surrender or die. Never! Oh. Okay, die. <laughs> <laughs> Ten or less. All right. Well, because of her uh, previous maneuver, it's her DCV is a thirteen. Okay. Well, ten or less would miss then. Fantastic. So we'll I give you a chance this time. You surrender next time. Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> Dragon Lady, it's your turn. Or you're a, you're blocking, okay. or are you not blocking? No, I uh, I my blocking ends. My blocking ends ends on this segment because I'm going to do a counter strike now. It's on. And. Yeah, can you do multiple counter strikes? Uh, yes, you, uh, you can do multiple attack. Okay. Uh, be beware, beware. A multiple attack leaves you at half DCV. Yes, I know, but I did take body from that one, so I might as well try to try to take try to take or stun you guys. So you know you you lose your actions. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it and uh, I'm going to do uh, I'll do my dude and I will do let's see I'll do uh, I'll do two I'll do two counter strikes on warrior two and warrior one. Ooh. So let's see. Uh, that will be eight. So is that going to drop your DCV to half? That will half my DCV, yes. But however, though, I got a bonus for my, I get a bonus for my Counter Strike maneuver. Um, yeah, and I'm actually going to put those two hand to hand levels. I'll put those two into, I'll put them into DCV. What the hell? All right. So let's see. So it's going to be, it's a plus two from Dragon's Power flows to me, and then it's a plus two from the maneuver, but a minus two from, uh, from multiple attack. So all right, first one I'll be on Warrior Two. Uh, you know what? Right. I'll just I'll put it all on the offense. So it'll be a plus Warrior story. Warrior Two hasn't acted yet in this phase, has he? Nope. 
Nope. Yep. All right, then he will abort, or yeah, he'll he'll abort to uh, flying swords. Can you do that? That's a. Uh... Or is this is this not an not an energy attack? What is this? Is the attack that she's doing is it physical? Yeah, it's physical. Punches? She's she's literally yeah she's literally giving a giving okay. a counter strike. So back, then, then he's going to abort to block. Ah, nice. Okay, yeah, he will have to block. Let's see, this will be a total of. Uh, so all right. you roll to hit. You roll to hit, and then he gets to apply. His DCV goes up. So his DCV. If, do we have martial block or martial no. dodge? Or no, no martial dodge. No. If defensive block, but that's that's it. I think it's almost moot. Hitting a DCV of sixteen. Good luck. Holy yeah. Well, technically, you just have to get a twelve, but yeah, so you could <laughs> probably get it. No, that is not a uh, that's not a block. So that's a hit. Yep. <sighs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> and did, did you change your action from a from a um, defensive to a defensive block? Because you at first you said dodge, right? Yeah, yeah, I said yeah block. Did. they did block. Yeah. Okay. All right, he fails. I fail. He fail. I fail to. Well, he fails to block me. So then I so will. You, so you get to whack a doodle him. Yep, I kick him. That's a bit better. Ah, much better. Much better. Yep. Ouch. Uh, let's see. I think he is stunned from that. Yep. Um, con. Yes. Yep. He does look stunned from that. And he drops to a knee. Nice. Hmm. Knockback. Your second target. All right. Let's see about knock knockback. Sure. All right. Three dice six, right? Yep. It's a maneuver, a martial maneuver. Ha! Huh, for some reason, it rolled that uh, rolled that twelve d six again. For some reason, it shouldn't have been it. Let's see. Does this roll correctly this time? Ah, yes. There you go. But yeah, no knockback. Okay. So the next. Uh, all right, the next go on uh, Woo Warrior 1. That's likely to be a hit. Yep. I believe that is your... I believe Woo Warrior 1 is your DCV. Yep. I believe so. All right, now I will roll. Wouldn't you? Stunned. Yep. Both are stunned. Okay. So, okay. Alforio, just for your benefit, you took 42 okay. stun, 12 body. You've got 20 resistant or 20 PD. So you take 22 stun. But the okay. body doesn't go over your 20 PD, so you don't take any body damage. So you need to reduce okay. your stun in the health tab down mm -hmm. minus 22. So 60 minus 22, would that be 30? 38. Your endurance is 60. Oh, no, stun is 32. 32. Holy crap. Wow, these guys are, like, more powerful than me. That's crazy. Well, they didn't have to buy any skills, so they were able to put it all into stats. Ouch. And fighting. You know, actually, uh, like, it shouldn't have been 60. I should have said 40. Everybody just make it 40. That, that, I, that was just wrong. I meant sixty Whoa, for oh, I meant sixty for rough. endurance, not sixty for stun. Is what I meant. <laughs> A little okay, different. Had, yeah. Wait, so eighteen? Yep. 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 Okay. Sorry, everybody. That's no problem. <laughs> it's a rampage. It felt like I was taking it from sand crab. Okay, so we'll wear your we'll wear your one is also stunned. You know, I, I'm looking at it, at it from the GM's perspective. If we can capture her, then we can put her in a death trap, and then the other heroes have to come save her. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> or you know, or, or bring her to uh, yeah, or bring bring her to master bring her to master Wu himself. 
and get big promotion. Get paid more. Well, yes, of course yeah. that's what we do. But Master Wu would put her in a death trap. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so now uh, Warrior Excuse Two. Me. We're going back up to the top. Warrior Two has been stunned, so that is. Does he recover from being stunned on this turn, or is it next turn, next phase? Uh, he recovered. I, I believe it would be this one. Yeah, recovers be from one. being stunned. Okay. Oh wait, did, no, he aborted this. He aborted his action. Oh yes. Or was that? Yeah, last? he did abort. No, he aborted no, no, his you action. Didn't. You abort your so four. He, he does not recover from being stunned this phase. He'll have to wait till uh, another six. Yeah. His next action six. Okay. Well, warrior number seven. Uh, still resuming. Okay. Oh, I just skipped. Sorry. Well, warrior number eight is not in this battle. Warrior number three. What you doing? This is Sinkrad again. Uh, warrior number three. Uh, he is going to delay because those three, the three that are over there are for sure going to take her down, obviously. Of course. So right. well, there's no reason uh, to run headlong into the uh, unfair actually, odds. You, you would have seen two of them fall down, right? Ah, uh, just... temporary thing. One takes a knee. <laughs> That's yep. nothing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, both of them are woozy, but hey, okay. Six is... She can't possibly win. Because <laughs> they're always overconfident. Always. Yeah. Well, no, th this is clearly a distraction. Uh, you know, one of the, uh, you know, one of the evil uh, terrorists has uh, willingly sacrificed themselves to create a diversion. And so we're about to get hit by uh, other superheroes, excuse me, uh, terrorists, who are going to come through this door and uh, do terrible well, things to our journey? You're not destroyers, people. So I don't think you see them as terrorists. You just see them as white devils. Yeah, white, white foreign devils. Foreign devils. So, foreign devils. Yes. So what's happening here? So six is on top of the truck, but not engaging. I assume five. Are you doing yep. anything? Five. You're on top of the building over there, right? Yeah, that's me. You're gonna act. I. Yes, I'm going to jump down. Wow. Okay, hopping from one side down, down, swinging around the tree, landing down behind. You okay. are near Lao Jin. Yes, and I will. I once I land, I will draw my sword and I will uh, put it towards Lao Jin, and I say, "You are coming with me now." Oh. Lao Jin screams, "Dragon Lady! Dragon Lady!" Shut up. Night. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. Um, I am going to um, pause here, and we will pick up this one. Um, the box truck moves back into the garage. Um, Warrior yep. Six, I assume you jump off as it moves in, and yep. um, people begin to unload things from the truck. Um, Dragon Lady, you see the truck back into the building, but you wouldn't know what's happening um, unless you have some type of awareness. Um, no, and now unfortunately she doesn't. She's a little busy right now. Okay, so um, uh, we will uh, pick this back up. To, are you are you're on tomorrow's session, right, Kurt? Or yeah, yeah, okay. absolutely. Great. Yep. We will pick this up tomorrow. Um, we are in on segment five. Yes, it will be segment five. I'm just going to write down a couple of things so I've got it all. So it's this is Tianjin. So is it a half move for number five to jump down? Uh, yes. Okay, so I say what I say to him, and he starts yelling for the dragon lady. Can I punch him? Punch who? I don't want it. Uh, Lao Jin. Sure. I'm trying. I'm trying to knock oh, him out. Why not? So the people that are stunned. Um, warrior two is at eight. Warrior one is at what? Eighteen. Oh, because warrior two got hit once before. Do you want us to write down the the their stats right next to their characters? Sure. Yeah, that's great. If you if you'd like to, that'd be great. I guess you could put it on their descriptions too if you want to. I've got it in my notes too, so number. I've got it. I've got it written down already. You got it written down? Mm 
Oh, I'd trash can that. <laughs> Holy crap. Then, I hit a DCV of 14. You are going to hit Lao Okay. And everybody else is fine. Um, uh, except, of course, the bleeding dragon lady. Now, yep. when I, so I clicked on the maneuver for the defensive strike. Uh -huh. And that gave me my to hit, but that doesn't give damage, does it? No, you have to do. Um, I have to do, have a, to do a, a, a roll three and a half plus your. No, it's three and a half, okay. right? Yeah. Yeah, there's no extra button damage with the defense to strike. Okay. So it does eleven stun. Yeah. Um, it it stuns him. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> you, just, you just hit an old man. <laughs> Okay. The assault. All right. I'm going to save that that right there. Okay. We are at. No, we're not there. Okay. This next scene may go more quickly. So I'm going to read. Um, if any, if uh, Dragon Lady, will you make a copy of your token and put it back on your? Well, no, and you don't need to because I'm gonna. Ha it, it, we're not gonna use your token in the next scene, so. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna get you. Everybody's stuff is about to get pulled in. We're not. Your motion is supposed to make them look drowsy. <laughs> That's where did that happen? Oh, that just screwed that up. Oops. I just another uh, nifty table. Well, I screwed it up. I screwed it up. Hold on a second. It's okay. It happens to the best of us. Right. Okay. Did I, did I do it again? Let's see. I don't know what happened to the. My, we lost it. I'm about to fix something. Let's see. That was sad. I'm having to fix something just now. Sorry, I'm having to. Figure out what I've done wrong here. Mm -hmm. I um, pulled a scene out. Um, Before you took the old scene away? Yeah. Oh, Who's this next scene following? Um, I'm going to do a, a quick one on Ghost because cool. I don't think it will be very long. Mm -hmm. And then we will do um, sharps. Ooh, I'm excited. I don't know what to expect. Uh, and actually, I was going to ask. I wish I could just bring this thing back. Gosh. Think about it now. If you end combat now, you should be able to take the Wu warriors away from all that you gave them to. I just don't think. No, everything's fine. It saved it, put it all in its place. The only thing that's not in the right spot again is the, the box truck. That's okay. You know exactly where that was. Well, the box truck well, got backed up. Yeah, so there so, you go. It's where it belongs. Fantastic. Okay, let me get rid of all these woo warriors. Um, Bye -bye. And then what we will do real fast is um, ghosts next thing. So ghost, I assume um, that you've been out and about doing things since your last uh, endeavor. Um, Practicing, yes. 
and on your way back in you do the whole underground underwater entrance um, that's your new way maybe you've gone yeah. in and out in and out in and out you've done this this is not like the next time right but so right. whatever you're doing things you're coming back in and the next time you come in so you come in and the place where you know to come in underwater mm -hmm. is right here okay. but you see there uh, and you see them far off you see two destroids just calmly waiting beside the portal yes are they able to see the portal? No. But they think it's there. We don't know what they think. They're there. They're there. Hmm. Uh, does Ghost know enough about the mechanics of this portal to know whether or not these things can enter that portal? Yeah, it's keyed and it's like, not biometric, but it's keyed to your like galactical signature, that kind of thing. Okay, so... They can't actually go in, so they're basically waiting for Ghost. Um, I like the particles in the water. Yes. I don't see water, but I do see particles. Yeah, I didn't. I tried water, mm -hmm. um, and it was so problematic for me. Uh, yeah. But there are jellyfish. Uh, yeah, yeah. Jellyfish. yeah. And, the sound effect. and there oh. are fish. Do y'all see the fish anywhere, or no? Just the jellyfish? Mm -hmm. I'm not seeing any fish. There's I a, see lots of particles. There is a jellyfish. I mean, there nope. is a fish particle effect Wait. that I've got. I just don't see them anywhere. Uh, maybe it's just your hand flitting by. Yeah. There's like a school of fish in this scene. I can't find them. Darn. <laughs> <laughs> so proud of them. What's that? You were so proud of your school of fish. I know, I know. Hey, school of fish. That's a pretty decent band, actually. <laughs> <laughs> If you've never heard them, uh, listen to their one album. Like their, like their stuff in high school. Yeah, the lead singer died, so oh. ah, it's unfortunate. I never made any more music. So, Ghost, um, what do you do? You see these destroids and the place that you typically go. Uh, she would veer off, look behind her, and see if they've noticed her. They have not noticed her. Okay. Um, they are generally unobservant. Yeah. Uh, do I have a, a means for communicating with Socrates outside of uh, the darker? I mean, your fob, it, well, whatever you're, it's integrating into you. Okay. Uh, she's going to fly away from uh, this area. Okay. Uh, or swim away. And, swim away. Yeah. Exactly. Excuse me. She, she's swimming away. Uh, she'll proceed underwater quite a distance. Uh, and emerge uh, uh, flying nape of the earth at subsonic so she won't be creating a sonic boom um, she'll find a place where uh, she's reasonably certain she can securely radio Socrates and inform him uh, of the fact that the portal is being surveyed by uh, uh, two destroids mm. uh, uh, Socrates is um, is quite concerned in his voice. Ghost, yeah. are you sure this is the? Are you sure you're seeing destroids underwater? They look like destroids, but uh, I did not physically contact them, so I can't be hundred percent certain. Uh, they could be stuffed mannequins made to look like destroids. And then Socrates takes a totally logical statement and says, "It doesn't seem likely." That Doctor Destroyer would would uh, stuff mannequins. Though it is a possibility, I think we should rule it out. That's probably logical. Well, so oh. he he, um, he communicates broader over the darker web and invites any of the new champions um, um, for advice or for thoughts. Um, and Socrates even suggests. Um, Though it is not safe to enter the portal, it is also not safe for us to allow destroids to remain so clear an entrance to our our underground base. 
Maybe True, we should rekey uh, that portal into one of the prison cells. <laughs> Are they... <laughs> They can't actually enter that portal, but it certainly would be a good idea to uh, move that entrance elsewhere if possible. Uh, but we can't do that, I suppose, while it's being surveilled by two destroids. Yeah. And Socrates um, says, it will take me a considerable amount of time to rekey and relocate this portal. Hmm. This could prove problematic. Uh, in the meantime, uh, do you, do you wish for me to dispatch these uh, two destroids? Get them to chase you, Cypher <laughs> would say. That seems like a reasonable suggestion, Cypher. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, she, she will fly uh, you know, to the... Re I, I saw which direction these guys were standing, right? Yep. So she's going to fly behind and do an approach from behind. It probably won't work because uh, at her speed she's going to be creating an awful lot of cavitation in the water. Yeah. And uh, she's not flying supersonic underwater. So uh, they'll uh, they'll hear it before she arrives. But, you know, it's, like, it's what she would do. Um, okay, so you won't get any surprise from them uh, because right. of it? Now, underwater, she's capable of a uh, movement of 42 meters. Uh, so she'll do a charge attack on a single destroid. Uh, um, whatever. Like, I, I don't know how far I'll be able to... Uh, like. Is this where I start? Uh, you start wherever you'd like. So, so Cypher will come back on. Are you, are you, are you reasoning through the... Like, are you are you reasoning what you're going to do out loud, or are you doing that in your head? I could report it on the fob. But, uh, okay, I'm going to go in. I'm going to uh, strike one of them and then lead them off into a different direction. If if I might suggest, swim further away where they can possibly still see you. And then don't don't strike them, because if they you're trying to get them to to leave the portal area, right? Right. So we don't know whether they have an ability to sense the portal. So we want them to believe that the portal entrance is not there. So maybe show up, say. 20 meters further away from where the actual portal is and then you see them and act surprised and then hmm. start to start to swim away and see if they chase you. But That's does, just a suggestion. But does Ghost even have features to feign surprise? <laughs> nope. <laughs> well, she has features, but they wouldn't be able to see them. And she, like, does this big hand waving like, oh, no! <laughs> Over here! <laughs> uh, now, in Ghost's opinion, uh, the uh, the best way to get their intention is to do some damage to one of them, and then let them pursue her. Okay. Yeah, so she, she will do a, uh, uh, a charge maneuver, and assuming she does knockback, we'll wind up somewhere over her. Here. Yeah. So she's attacking destroid number two uh, with a charge maneuver. Ah, shoot! Damn, I, sorry, I, I am making the same mistake I seem to constantly make. I am rolling the wrong dice. This is the two hit. Okay, that hits him. Um, that definitely hits him. And with that body damage, you are breaking pieces of them off. That's kind of the idea. Yep. And it's now their turn. They can pursue me. Yeah. Or they so, can blast from where they are. Yeah. Um, they are going to swim slowly towards you. Oh. 
they don't move fast. <laughs> so don't they, they are... Most people don't have a lot of underwater movement. Yeah, they're robots, so they, they, they are swimming towards you. Okay. Oh yeah, I'll, I will assign these uh, to folks. Uh, I didn't mean to leave out. Rampage, you can take Destroyed 2, and who wants Destroyed number... Uh, who wants Destroyed 2? Rampage is 1. And Raka, you want to take this? I can. Just did a scene for Dragon Lady, so we'll let you sit this one out, and out for you. You'll sit this one out, but everybody's going to be in the next one, so... Okay, so um, you all move toward them. Sorry, I just took your turns. Oh yeah, yeah, everybody can join in if they want to, but obviously Ghost, um, Ghost just kind of went at them. So if anybody wants to like jump into the water, knowing that Ghost is in flight and, and attack, you can. You sure can. So, so would, uh, out of curiosity, would these destroids have been set here specifically? Could they have had their flight usable? Had their flight off um, changed so that they can use their flight usable as swimming? No, imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Does anybody want in on this? No, I'm good. I'm um, sure I could play a Destroid. I might as well might as well pay pay someone back. <laughs> Even though I'd rather rather pay uh rather pay it for Cypher. I'd rather go for Cypher, but sure I'll play a hapless Destroid. Okay. I try to say that. So, I just know that the next round is about sharp, so I'll set it out. So, uh, Emrak, I'm going to make Destroy 2 Kurt rather than you, okay? Oh, no problem. Mm. Oh, I thought I was. No? Okay. Yeah, you did. You took him away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've already played too, so somebody else can play the other Destroy besides me. I'm not being able to um, huh. assign them. Interesting. Did... You have to do it from the... The, s the starting scene controller, I believe. You have to go back to there to assign them. No, I, it, but they're I, that that is where I am. But they're not um, when I click on people. I'm not able to. Um... Oh, peculiar. Mm -hmm. I can't give them to anybody. No, you can just play them yourself. It's not the end of the world. Yep. Okay. That's what we'll do. Mm -hmm. So, um, Destroyed, we're going to click and bang in. See if you can give it back to me again, because I had it at first. Yeah, I can't now. Huh. Weird. All huh. Over with. Huh. So, Destroyed really said no more. And the, the combat's not working? Nothing? I have Ghost and Destroyed in combat, but whenever I go to combat, nothing. I'm going to end the oh. combat. I'm going to try again. May have to reload your table? No? That's weird, I just lost it. Yeah, I'm going to um, save and reload everybody. Give me just a second. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay, if anybody needs to take a bathroom break or anything like that, I'm just going to take the about... It's going to take me about two minutes. And everybody's going to... I'm going to go feed my cat. Sounds good. <clears throat> He's always hungry. In the moments where I'm not playing, I've been crocheting. Oh, it's a fantastic pastime. Mm
I am learning character sheets back. Is any is the water noise making anybody else have to go to the bathroom? No. Uh, that's funny. Hey, I am back in place. Are we ready to go? Oh. I'm getting there. Yeah. After Ghost, Ghost one went after Ghost. Ghost is your turn in segment three. Okay, um, Ghost puts uh, forty-four meters between her and uh, the Destroids. Okay. So the easiest way to do that is perhaps to move the Destroids to one end of the map, and then we'll trace forty-four meters. Uh, hang on a sec. Okay. We'll trace uh, fifty-six meters from Destroid. From the closest asteroid. Are you gonna try to hit them on this map? No, I'm. Well, I basically, I'm just uh, putting distance right now. Okay. Um, the the idea is to lead them away from uh, huh? um, the portal. Yeah, and so I don't even know that we need to move it. Like, if you're gonna engage them in combat on this map, then great. But if not, then you're, they're gonna start following you, but they're following very yep. slowly behind you. Um, but, right. But they're gonna keep following. Okay, well, uh, what I'll do is uh, uh, I'll, I'll let them follow, but I, I'm keeping a fair distance, and at a certain point I'll pull ahead uh, such that they can't see me anymore, or not quite sure what their range of sight is underwater, okay. but I'll circle around and try and do another uh, uh, another attack from the rear. Okay, so you'll get, you'll get to do that. Okay, so... Um, uh, oops, I'm about to make the same mistake as I did before. And lots of errors, anybody? Well, this is a to hit roll. Ooh. My goodness, that's probably a miss. DCB 6. It misses. Wow. As she swims on past. Whoosh. Uh, hang on just a sec. I just want to. Okay. She might make it a little bit further this time. There we go. How far away did you get from them? Uh, she's about 18 meters. Now your measuring tool, I think, is just adds like six to everything. Uh, I'm kidding. Oh. I, was I was being sarcastic. Al, okay. Al and I got in a big argument about the exact oh. measurements. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I was right. So, <laughs> of course, you were. <laughs> Okay, um, no, okay. Um, <laughs> so, um, and I'm sorry I gave um, Kurt and Rampage the thought that they would get to play the Destroids. They're, these Destroids are moving an abnormally slow, and they're still following you. They are not opening fire underwater. Well, that's interesting. Wondering if they're capable of firing underwater. It's entirely possible these actually aren't destroids, but just some sort of like drones made to look like destroids. Anyway, Ghost is going to continue the routine of you know dr drawing them further away a little bit, then circling around, seeing if she can't uh, get another strafing attack. Um, 
Okay. Yeah, you'll get another. I'm gonna make your attempt at them. They're moving closer to you, trying to, but they're so far away, they're not opening fire. You get to attack. Okay, you hit them. That time she hits. And, uh... Oh, I have to do a, um, hang on a sec, I have to be careful about this. Um, 12, I have to use dice roll, uh, uh, the roll maker for this, because I don't have a prepared thing for charges, charge attacks underwater. <laughs> um, that's 15 body. Okay, you're breaking off pieces of it again? Yeah, uh, I'm trying to focus on the, the ones that I've hit before. Um, yeah. Destroids normally break off like that. No, they don't actually. They're really tough. Um, but um, Ghost is also a, a powerhouse. So. so she's going to you know rinse and repeat. Uh, you know, if these guys aren't going to be shooting back, uh, she's going to continue to draw them further away from uh, the hole, and every once in a while, swing back and. Uh, strike one of them, try and knock off pieces. Uh, so, it'd be really good to take, you know, to get samples of this destroid to see whether uh, all destroids suck underwater or whether these are not actually destroids. So I think we can just kind of hand wave them that you get them very really far away and you keep pinging them back to keep their attention. You're hitting them, they follow them, follow, them, follow. It takes you probably five or six hits to destroy one. Yeah. Um, and you do that for a period of time. I don't know, will you lose endurance? Will you just like to rest periodically to do that? To do 12? Not points? really. At, th at this rate, if she's if she's doing a circle back an actual strike uh, every, uh, every turn, then she'd be losing one endurance per turn after recovery. That's it. Great. Okay. So there's, uh, if, no, yeah, there's no concern then that she'll faint underwater or something like that. Yeah. Okay. She burns endurance a lot if she's attacking every round and, and doing double, you know, like multi attacks and, you know, uh, maximum combat velocity attacks. When, when she's doing that, she burns endurance probably faster than anybody else in the game. Okay. Um, yeah. But true. this, that's not an issue. Well, maybe maybe not faster than Sandcrab when he's pushing his ego, but. Oh. oh yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> oh. Um. Okay, so Sandcrab has no reduced endurance. <laughs> she, she's got reduced endurance on her uh, agile combat flight, but that's about it. Okay, so I'll say maybe you grab one of their heads after you've destroyed them, and you bring it back. Uh, are you going to go in the old portal now that they're gone? Uh, yeah, because it's the only way I've got into the base. Okay. Um, so uh, but I'll also bring I'll also bring a weapon part to to see whether their weapons work underwater. Okay, so you go in, um, and as soon as you go into the base, um, Socrates speaks urgently. Um, Ghost, uh -oh. it is quite important that you move immediately into the prison, the interdimensional prison, with these devices. It is very likely these are tracked. Yep. She moves as fast as she can, and it's probably not fast enough. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh dear. That's going to be the end of this scene, but it is. Dun bum bum. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to read the scene. Um, let's get Ghost back over to our spot. I can do that. I need to clone it since I have. Uh, I have read it into the scene. Oh, I'm sorry. Should I put her back? No, you're fine. I got it. Okay. Oh, and apparently there's uh, there's not two ghosts on the table. Yeah, I put the second one over there. I cloned it. Okay. Okay. Oof, that was a lot of water noise. I even turned it down. Okay, so that'll be the kind of the, the cliffhanger of the second storyline scene. Um, the next one is um, a scene where um, Sharp's character has been contacted uh, by uh, Socrates. Uh, Socrates has informed Sharp that there is a um, supplies, a, 
a curious supply shipment that is um, being routed into a um, a militia uh, a destroyer militia that is very near one of the militia sites that Sharp is responsible for, or that Sharp, you know, like the people that report to her, you know. Yeah. Uh, so it's like a base site that's not very well armed or equipped, but there is a curious shipment um, that that Socrates has been tracking. Socrates offers that several of the new champions uh, would like to assist you in this, but it is uh, imperative that we obtain the shipments and um, and understand what type of technology is being provided to the militias, to the um, not the resistance militias, to the destroyer kind of lower level militias. Um, That's cool. This is a opportunity for any of the new champions that want to jump in. Um, this was an open darker web communication from Socrates to Sharp, and you all have have rescued Sharp several times. Um, but uh, several times, I think twice from okay. from um, three times, I believe. Yeah, it's happened wow. a lot. Um, <laughs> but Lysen speaks to you all and says, um, "We've upgraded her tech. Um, oh. She sh she shouldn't be a liability anymore." Cool. So, um, is anybody interested in helping um, retrieve the tech that's being shipped to this militia site? Well, it's militia, so um, it shouldn't take a whole team, but yeah. definitely somebody who's tech savvy, either Cypher, preferably Cypher, he's probably the best at it, uh, or Sandcrab should go, um, or anybody else who's really tech savvy should go to check it out. Yeah. But it's not just a question of tech savvy, it's also a question of security. Mm-hmm. If she gets into trouble, the more the merrier. I mean, you'd probably want to have somebody who could be tech savvy as well as somebody who could be a defense and an offense and a guard. You got need so. it all. Need it all. Yep. The more the merrier. You need the little robot army. That's what you need. So Sand, yeah. Yeah. Sand Crab and, and, uh, and, and Cypher, y'all want to both show up alongside Sharp? Sure. sure. The fun trio. Yeah, well, there you go. Those are the last two that haven't had their solo sessions, yeah, so. Yeah. Only fair. Um. Okay. Um, so in this um, in this kind of militia site, you know, you've got schematics, you've got readings. I mean, this is one where Socrates is able to show you this is not a dark site, right? That, um, such problems. Let's see, my camera is just not working. Here, let's see. Here we go, fixed it. It's not a dark site. Lots of information, maybe even some satellite pictures. So you will clearly see above, from from above, what is happening here. Um, two trucks have grown in. Um, there are some people, maybe even taking a cigarette smoke. Lots of soldiers. Um, and just for awareness. They do have flak jackets on, like Kevlar stuff, right? That some of them don't look like it in their tokens or minis, but they do. I don't want there to be um, any misunderstood um, misunderstandings. So agents. Yes, these are different militias, but okay. they have. And our they, and our mission is to to do recon on them. Yes, but also to um, understand what is the technology that's being um, being um, brought into their kind of possession. Okay. Interesting. Um, well, I would suggest that we tunnel in, and um, maybe we can come up outside the woods of the compound mm -hmm. so that you guys don't have to be restricted to my tunnel. And I will throw a entangle onto the agents that are there, hopefully disabling them. And then we can try to take some samples of their technology. Is there any way Sharp could have already taken her hemoglobin tablet on the way here, knowing what to expect? I think that's pretty fair. 
Or at least take it when we first arrive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I even think this is not a surprise. Um, but I think soon enough you're going to want to buy off that advent. Because uh, it's not really, mm -hmm. a, not really a limitation if you take it before combat. Yeah. Just thought to go ahead and get that out of the way. But the way that you're getting point benefit for it is that you lose your first phase. Um, mm. So that's segment twelve. Yeah, yeah, that's the point. So you're going to lose your first segment twelve because your this this hemoglobin tablet is taking a second to kick in. That's fine. All right. So if you guys think that's a good plan, we will appear in the woods right here. San Carabo Tunnel, and they can open into the tunnel, and that's when we can come out. Okay. So and there's my action in 12, if I, assuming I'm first and we're surprising them. Probably. Let's, let's get into combat. San Crab is first, followed by Cypher, then Sharp. Great. Sharp, are you on the scene too? Yeah, you are. I'm going to need help from some, from some of the players, if you don't mind. Yeah. Why is Sharp so tiny next to everybody? You just need to. Sure. sure, what can I do for you? We're going to play some soldiers. Okay. And they say destroyer soldiers. Why am I having trouble adding people? Uh, Actually, no. I only have access to Peter Green... And the Fleetwoods, even though it says I've got five, I only have access to those two. So weird. Another problem here where I'm trying to make, but it's like my whole heads up display is not working. No, I see Cypher. Maybe now I can do it. Okay, so I do see at least, but I can't add them to combat. Maybe I can. Maybe I can. It's all good. It's all good. I just can't give them to people. Yes, I can. Okay, figured it out. Pam Piper, I'm going to give you some room too, if you don't mind. Okay. Well, no, not. It's not. With uh, a bit of luck, they'll all wind up entangled on phase one. I don't know why it's not. Uh, I was able to give Destroyer 1 and 2 to Kurt. But I wasn't one able. and 2? Uh-huh, but I wasn't able to give anybody huh, any past that. And I've not had those problems before. So, Kurt, you get to play. And um, we'll see. Cool. Sorry about that, Gus. Cool. Okay, so um, I'm going to bring everybody into combat. And then let's just see. Maybe I have to bring them into combat before I can assign them to people? No, that's not common. They seem to have three now. Destroyer Soldier 4, 5, and 7. Oh, you have them now? Yeah, I do. That's funny. I don't see that they're assigned to you in my thing. It huh. took a while to load, maybe. Maybe you will in a minute. Uh, so how would I find out their... Um, how would I find out their their attacks? They can't do any attacks? Dice rolls. There's a tab that says dice rolls. And, okay. And they cool. have uh, they have uh, two combat, combat skill levels. Nice. Okay, so we are... Um, Sandcrab, you did, you're going to do a thing? In 12? Yep. Yep. Heal throws and tangle. Okay. You want to put it over there? I already did. Rolling my hit. Hit the hex. Rolling for the effect. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Bye bye. So, Sandcrab. He missed, he missed one of them. Over there. The tent. Soldier 6. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And obviously, the guys up on the building, if there are those guys up there. Okay. If I only had a mental link with these two people that are with me, I could show them what I, what I see over there in the Ooh, building, do you, off the wall. Do you make but, the pitch to Sharp? Because she's all kind of cybernetic implants person. Yeah. Oh. 
Uh, well, we haven't had, really had a chance to talk, but he, he definitely will. One, two, three, four, five. So you got all the way through five. You didn't get six. So I'm just going to um, say number six uh, sees that happen and screams. Um, I'm uh, coming. Arm security bots. Arm the security bots. You hear in sand crab everyone I mean it's audible, you hear in sand crab you know in the back of those um fans, those little not bands, what are those? Uh, trucks are mm -hmm. are um like robots. Okay. Well no, oh, they look so cute. <laughs> okay. I can't get down there for well, some they're in the they're in the entangle, but you know they can probably blast their way out. Mm -hmm. They can. They will. How much was the the dice of the entangle? Mm. It's seventeen body. That's gonna get out, right? It's not seventeen body. I mean, yo, oh, oh, you see your attack. Yeah, the seventeen body will get out for sure. Yeah, it's like eleven. Is wow. the, it's it's a five six or something like that. Okay, so security bot two is blasted out. In this case, actually, it was a six six. I rolled really good. Okay, awesome. So security bot two spins its turn to blast out. Security bot one. Fourteen buddy. That's also probably enough to get past six six. It is. Yep. So security bot, and you all see this. Um, you see, um, why can't I get down to this? Okay. You all see from the back of this, these trucks, big photon blasts blasting out the rubble, um, and smoke is all in the air. Cypher's turn. Do they, do they, do they come, do they, do they rise up into the air or do they just stay in the back of the truck? They're in the back of the truck. Okay. They didn't. They they didn't do enough to get a full move or anything. Or do they get a full a move after that? Do you, they get a half a move for breaking out? I am unclear on the rules for 6E for how, how much it takes to, to, yeah. to get a full action or I a half think action. Because they broke out, they get a half action. But they didn't do enough um, to do to get out, to get their full What action. is enough? They have to double, double? double the body. Yeah. Gotcha. So I'm going to move the trucks because it's easier to move the trucks than it is to move the Bots. Yep. <laughs> so these things are now out. Oh shoot, they do electric damage, don't they? They're photon blasts, but you wouldn't know that. So it does look electrical to you, so it's probably scary. Yeah. I think that's a cool no. effect on those little whirler blasters. Mm -hmm. No, you Shark said it's takes Cypher's double turn? damage for electric. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's Cypher's turn. I don't have your bots in the scene. Do you want to use them? Do you want to have them on, or do you just want to be able to... Because I can put them on. Give me a um, I was going to send send them to recon so I know what's happening in the area. Do they need to be on so, battle phases? I think so. Right? They don't have to. Oh, got them in. Okay, so Cypher's, okay. Cypher's turn. What are you doing? Are you holding? So that I, I'm, I'm going to send out the, the Christine and John one, oops. <laughs> I'll send John over this way. I love their names. And uh, I'll send Christine off the other way to take an overview of the, <laughs> the facility. Your, his, his bots are, are named after, um, was it Fleetwood Mac? Fleetwood Mac, oh. yep. Yeah. Amazing. <clears throat> um, green, I will have uh, come next to me. And um, then I will... With him, I will portal to... Uh, I can go 30 meters. Let's see. Just making sure. Nope, it's not on that. There we go. 
So that means I can go 15, right? Oh, so I got Peter Green. I don't want to see him in the combat order. Do you see him? Should just just be as Green, no? I don't see him. Though. Man, there is something weird going on with the mod right now. He's in, yeah. but he's not in. Does he go before you, right? Because I think you've had to hold your action and wait for him to go in the past. That's all. Yeah, I usually have the two of us go at the same time. Yeah, so you're going to hold, and you won't be able to move until the end, because he goes at the end. I think he is... Yeah. Um, you want me to move them out for now, then? Yeah, because he's a dex 10. He, he will be the last to go, so you you won't go, or he won't go until the very end. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to hold your turn. Your Fleetwoods have gone. Stevie, has Stevie done anything? Uh, Stevie is with me, hasn't done anything yet. So Stevie will be holding as well. Okay, so the Destroyer Soldier, six. Um, uh, Sand Crab um, just sees other people inside the building. There's not, it's maybe some like munitions and rifles and stuff like that. Sorry, Sand Crab, I know you asked me privately, but I'm trying to do it quickly. So this... Um, this uh, guy oof, is going to move uh, number six. He's running because he doesn't see, but he is going to run and try to go up the back stairs. Oh, no, he's not going to jump off the back stairs, but he is trying to run away. And that's what he's doing. One, five... Eight, seven, they're all, they're not actually in the battle yet. I do see that they're on you now, purple, I don't know why. They're not in my scene controller assigned to you, but in combat they are. Okay, George, two, so nine's not in the battle yet. Where is Sharp in all this? By Cypher. Yeah, I just don't see you in the combat controller. Oh. <laughs> Sharp should be going at a dex of 12. So you should go now. Oh, I can go now? Well, no, this is your first segment that's burned because you're oh, yeah. hemoglobin. Now, you can do stuff. Before you take it? No, no, no. Mm -hmm. You You can do things. You just don't have all the additional body stun... Yeah. Like, Sharp boost. Yeah. I'm really weak without it, though. Yeah, no lie. I'm just saying maybe you <laughs> hold or, I don't know, you just... Dodge. Yeah, dodge. There you go. <laughs> You're dodging. Maybe that's the cool. safest thing to do, just in case someone does hit you. Yeah. Or someone who goes first before you in in the next phase or next turn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, well, I guess she's dodging. I don't understand why I can't i got to end combat because I can't get to the next turn. <laughs> Butch. That's weird. We win again, yes. But Yay! I, but I can't, even mm -hmm. end, I can't even end combat. What? Maybe it's all these health maybe, races. Maybe save the scene. Did I get there? Did I get there? Ah, uh, hold on a second. Now I got there. This is really, really uh, weird. Okay, so we are in segment number two now. It's raining? It's raining. Hmm. Does that mess with anything? Well, no, because of her suit. Only if you're a sun character and your powers turn off in the rain. <laughs> no. I've seen characters like that. Oh, yeah. Played with one for years. <laughs> but that was annoying. It wasn't my character. Oh. <laughs> it was annoying for the for the player, though. <laughs> <laughs> but he was really powerful because of that big disadvantage. Oh, uh, yeah. So, St. Crab, it's your turn. We're in segment two. Alrighty, then. Um... Sand crab will um. leap over to here. Bonsai. 
and he's going to punch that thing. Hey, hoping to knock my it next back. Acquisition. Yes. Well, acquisize it faster. <laughs> um, into uh, the hopefully knocking it back into the other bot. Dice rolls. Yeah, you hit it. Okay, um, you, um, okay, interesting. You hit it, and, um, you can see that you are, like, breaking one of the little arms on it. Um, and you did, what, 20 meters of knockback? But instead of going backward, it spins in the air. It's hovering. And so it, like... It doesn't go backward. It spins, and it well, is, back. <laughs> and it's gyrating. Right, it's kind of reorganize, reorienting itself. Gotcha. Cipher, you would have moved. Um, I know um, in the last turn, and I took it from you, so you could move yourself, and then you could take your actions where you wanted to be. Because you would have moved with Peter Green, and for some reason, he's not on the board. So I'm not on the combat tracker. Okay. Um... Is so I'll, sharp. Are you planning to engage or no? Um, I'm actually. I was gonna ask a question about one of my abilities with my helmet of calm device. It says that I can uh, radio per, uh, perception and transmission, mm -hmm. which is mostly used as a communicator. But I was wondering if I could try to mess with the um devices. These like. Robots through mm. frequency. Nope, not with not with those powers. Oh, Cypher so has cool. those powers. Cypher can. Oh do that. really? Oh yes. That's yes. cool. But but not with, and maybe if you had like hacking or some type of computer mm. skill, but also maybe a power that actually does that like mind control, but against robots. Interesting. But that's this what Cypher cool. actually has. Yeah. That's cool. Good to know. Okay, other than that, I was probably going to take cover near these doors and try to uh, stun or just destroy one of these. Probably stun it because we need to keep one to show what it is, but so one of the bots. One thing that you will know, that others will know, bots that are ro like robots, they can't be stunned. They, they, don't, mm -hmm. they don't get knocked out because they're robots. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you have something that just phase or stun only, don't do it against bots because they can't. They don't take stun. All you gotta you gotta get as much body damage on them as you can. I believe that the other setting of my. Gun. Oh yeah, it does. It does some body damage. <laughs> okay, cool. Then I'd probably kind of get where actually where Cipher is right now and shoot at some of the either the people or the bot. Yeah. So what you probably would have wanted to do on that last turn is move over there and dodging. Um, Half move over mm -hmm. there and then do your dodge. Uh -huh. So now you can like see through the door with him. But, okay, that's cool. But uh, now it's Cypher. It's still Cypher's turn. Okay. Yeah. And I will say to uh, to Sharp, if you stay within um, 10 feet of Peter, Mr. Green, uh, he will protect you um, from damage and make it harder for them to hit you. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So, um, we'll move over to this, to where I've got Cypher and Green and Sharp. And the people that are, um, inside, uh, Sand Crab's dirt pile, are they up to their necks or what? Or are they completely buried? They're basically... 
they're basically entangled. You can't affect them unless you break them out. Okay. Uh, Vampire, would you mind moving your hand, your token, your hand? Sorry. So a, no, I'm trying to get a photo. I think it's kind of cool. They're standing in the door like that. I usually try and remember to keep the hand off the screen completely. Sometimes my mind wanders. Peter Green kind of reminds me of the droids from Portal. Hmm. Um, can Cypher see Security Bot 2? Can Cypher see Security Bot 2? No, I would say not. I'm I'm standing where your where your character is, and you don't see it. Okay, so I can see the one. I can see number one then. Yes, the one that Sand Crab hit, and it's spinning right now. It's like, you know, it's reorienting itself. Okay. Um. So over communications, I'll say to Sand Crab, um, I can only see the one security bot in front of you. I'm going to try to deactivate it. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to use um mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you have skill levels there? Yes you do. Plus four. Well. Wow. Alright. So I'm going to try to hit security bot number, um, number I hit a DCV of 10. You hit it. Okay. And then I'm going to roll my deactivation. Oh. Getting fancy. Cool. 72. So what are you trying to deactivate? Um, it's movement ability. Okay, yeah, you see, um, like it's, um, it's, uh, it's, lots of stinking ones. <laughs> the little, the little kind of like hover thing underneath it powers down and it kind of, it falls to the ground. It like, uh, actually I might be able to unlock it. It's not yeah, in the, cool. it's not in the entangle, but, um, but it is in the entangle. Yes. Okay. <laughs> no, it's on the entangle. There you go. Drops down onto it. Okay. So that is Cypher. That was Cypher's proper turn, or did, was that one of your bots? That was Cypher's turn, yeah. Okay. So the only one that hasn't moved at this point is Stevie. Does Stevie go on segment two, though? I don't think he does. Oh, segment two? Mm -hmm. mm, no. Okay. I thought we were, st I thought for some reason, I thought we were still on 12. But yeah. Sure, that's not a problem. Okay, so um, uh, Shark goes on segment two at the end. It's not showing up on the battle tracker, which is frustrating, so I'll get out. But you go, and you actually have your um, you have your hemoglobin benefit, your hemoglobin tablet benefits. How are you there? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Yep. Okay. Um, is this a Verizon commercial? <laughs> I can hear you. <laughs> Quick question. What button do I press to measure distance again? Hold down the tab. F4. Tab. Okay, great. Thank you. What is F4? I mean, you know you could... Oh, is that switch it to measure or something? Yep. F4 switches it to measure. F1 switches it back to hand. <laughs> if I were work trying... That way for me. Huh. Okay. Because the thing is, she can do a lot of pretty cool stuff. And I'm trying to think... Because she has a gun, she can go from range. Now, I know she's also with green right now, so that's kind of important. But um, she has a jumping, like a leaping distance, I think, of, uh -huh. what, 20? 20, 20? Yeah. So I'm trying to think, like, can she hop up to, like, I don't know, on top of the doors or something? Certainly can. 
and shoot from above. If, while it's, still like a, if it's a really it. tricky area that's like thin, like a wall like that, the GM could ask you for a dex roll for balance. Whereas mm. if you jump on top of a building, then it's assumed that it's pretty flat yeah. and easy to stand on and shoot and do what fight on. So it's kind say, of like up to you decide. Um, I will say, some people will p purchase, uh, I think there's a skill that will let you, you know, tightrope and stuff like that. It might be just acrobatics, but her, I'm not sure. Her jumping has accurate. Her leaping has accurate jump. Yeah. There you go. So she should be able to jump up onto that. Mm-hmm. Because like, she's like a martial artist acrobat type. Oh, cool. Just like Dragon Lady. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, you could yeah. build that in because you did have, she had like martial arts training all her life. Like a private. Yeah. Aaron Sharp uh, lavished things up on her. That's why I was like, I bet I could jump on top of the door. <laughs> okay. So you want to be on top of the door? Would I still be in the radius of green? Uh, no. Oh, no. Short radius. Radius. Real short I'll, radius. I'll, but you're I'll grab the radius thing. But you're tough. I am tough now. Okay. So I'd like to hop on top of the door. Would that be my full mm -mm. turn? That's half. Half. Okay, great. So then can I shoot the other bot because I should be able to see it when I'm from at the top. Yes. Yes, you can. Great. Okay. Nice effect. So you're mm -hmm. tell tell us where you're going to be uh, at the at the top of the store. Is it like right here or something? Uh where that ruler is. Yeah, where it was just a second ago. Or, or right here. Kind of like where she is, but up. Gotcha. Okay, I'll move you up there. Okay. So we just need to figure out how far it is. So That's you're why I was probably like, looking at like, I see 13 or 15. Like, are you jumping up onto the top of this truck? No, uh, she's no. on the door where the she door. is now. Yeah, which is, I see now oh, where okay. she is. Oh, I see. Sure. Yep. So that yeah. is, that's great. Oh, no. Uh, it was versus. such a nice position. Uh, I'll fix it. Hold on. Uh, Sandcrab, I'm going to need you to roll a dex roll. <laughs> <laughs> Rampage, me, not Sandcrab. Me, me and my big mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that is going to be a great photograph. So, um, so you get up on top of that thing, uh, and you are you have a fifteen range mod. Um, so you need to put into the um, distance calculator. Put fifteen. Okay. And then do the checkbox that's next to the zero. Yep. And it should be, what does it tell you is the penalty? Uh, minus two. Okay, so now when you press the two hit words under dice rolls, it will calculate uh -huh. a minus two into it. And you got the checkbox checked? Yes. Yeah, so you hit that, um, you hit that security bot. Security bot two. And you're hitting it with what, extreme blast? Oh, definitely, yes. Okay. It hit? Yeah, you hit. You roll your dice, though. Okay. This one, that's not a bad roll. What is that? Plus 37 times? Good as the other good, one. That's a good stun multiplier on it. Um, so what, what, what is the effect of your energy blast? Of your of your gun? Oh, and turn it on since you've got it. Golly. You know, looping effects. Right click on your thing. Character? Yeah, right click on your token. Oh, wait. And then do um, looping effects. Hold up. Sharp. Okay, looping effects. And then do blaster. It's two. Yeah. Got it. Oh, that's cool. Let me turn you the right way. Yeah. Yay. Nice. Wait. Don't fall off the wall. No. We won't do that. <laughs> mm -mm. So cool. I know it's like it kind of... That's really cool. Oh, nice. That's a picture right there. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. So you hit okay. it, and um, I wish the effect was as awesome as the blast is. You hit it, and it absorbs, not absorbs it, it just, it, you can see that its armor is buff, rebuffing all of the, all of the energy that you are, maybe it's the, maybe it's the, the energy that's coming from your blaster is the same type of energy that's in its little radiating thing. Who knows? It, but it's not penetrating it. 
Interesting. So it, d it didn't take any damage? It did not take any damage. Ugh. No. That was a cool move, though. You did, like, a whole little... What did, I don't want to Black Widow you on that, but you did a, a leap up and <laughs> blast out. That's cool. Okay. It's like a summer, somersault leap onto the top of the door. Right. She's trying to impress y'all. This is her first time meeting you guys. <laughs> yeah. Hey, anything uh, other than being rescued... Uh, is is a is a win. <laughs> I mean, honestly. <laughs> okay, so she's that's, trying to rebrand herself. <laughs> this is segment number three. Um, uh, the Fleetwoods and Stevie are gonna go. Okay. That was your first so, turn. Awesome. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> um, did, you said somebody was running out the back. Uh, yeah, there was a guy that didn't, the one soldier that didn't get entangled, um, he ran, uh, he ran away. Is that like number six? <laughs> number six, that's right. Okay, so Christina's over that way. She's going to follow him, keep an eye on him, see what he does. Okay, yeah, he's running toward these stairs, you can see. Okay. You got some other Fleetwoods, um, just move them, do what you're doing. Is Stevie going to act? Oh, you betcha. Does Stevie always want to act? <laughs> Name to ah. All right, got to turn the measurement tool on. Um, um, Stevie is not showing up in my list of available. Well, you know what he does. Characters? Yeah, I do. Yeah, something has happened here. Maybe I've had too many scenes for the night. Maybe some of my script got put into Santa Crab's token, too. Who knows? Oh, that's weird. Eh? Okay. Okay, so he's going to fly up between uh, Sharp and Sand Crab. This is a cool team. And he's going to take a shot at soldier number eight. Okay. So that's uh, 16. Da -da 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 distance. 16 and what? Four up? So that gives him a minus three to hit. And he's got plus four, so that gives him a total of plus one. Um, okay. Tell me what DCB you hit. Yep. I don't know if this is going to work quite correctly because I'm uh, using the stats on a Fleetwood and I think that uh, you want me to roll it for you? I, I can roll on Stevie for some reason sure just give him a plus one into hit and then see what we get I hope I rolled terribly <laughs> oh, a DC V6 you hit okay um, is the target insulated? he's not then that would be the um, oh. five die six. I can roll five die six for you. Sure. So Stevie from behind the door is hitting target number eight. No, he's right here. Oh, I think I just missed. Oh, okay. I just don't see him. Oh, he blends in. I got it. I got it. Okay. Cool. I see it now. And you don't want to turn on your looping effects? They're not good, are they? I need to fix these for you. There we go. Whoa! Yeah, but it's it, the shader's not working properly. I thought I made that right for you. Anyway, okay. So that is segment number three. You've done, what, how much damage? Ten? It did. Yeah. Wow, That's a ten. Terrible, terrible. Three ones. <laughs> Stun, stun, he did not even con stun him. Dang. 
Okay, so that is segment number three. Um, we are now. That's all my guys. Uh, now segment number four. The security bot number two goes, and um, it. Right What's their deck? Pardon? What's their decks? Thirty. I whispered that for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> So they're going first. Uh, bot number two. Um, they, they go before Sandcrab. Oh yeah, they have thirties. So. Oh they oh they have thirty. Holy smokes! Yeah, <laughs> they are basically gyroscoped, you know, things. They they float and move around. So I mean, they are very uh, ridiculous. Say oh okay. ridiculous. Okay, yeah. So, ridiculous. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, bot number ridiculous. two that was just shot at by Sharp is going to turn and face Sharp. And blast Wait. at sharp. No. Oh. Can I absorb its energy? <laughs> Thank you. He didn't technically absorb, you know. It just buffered. Yeah, I think what it will do is it will move a little bit up. Give this everybody is where sharp gets killed. And you oh. abort. To reflect. You can. Oh, uh, I don't know, because that's not. Um, it, it's not defensive. If you're reflecting it back at them, it's that's an offensive. I don't know what is the ruling on that. I wouldn't know. Yeah, I don't. I don't think. So. I think I, well, in the in the in the moment, I will say you can abort to um, deflect, but not reflect. Because Sharp can't. Well, deflect and reflect are actually the same thing. Yeah, you can afflict, you can abort to deflect, but or reflect. But reflecting is putting it back at them. That's the thing I was saying. It's not entirely. But it's also it's also has the advantage on it. It's it's def, it's deflection with the advantage, right? Okay, so I guess yes. you can abort to reflect. Thank you. I'm not familiar enough with it. Okay, so bot so two cipher, is going to. Okay. Cipher will abort to reflect. I have, uh, I have uh, unfortunate aim. <laughs> so, is the power more than sixty active points? It is. Then it it'll fail. Then. Okay. Ooh, bummer. Okay, so you try to ha tell us how it looks when you try it, though. So, um, uh, a a field appears as as the as the bot goes to, uh, goes to fire. A field appears around. Attempting to redirect the fire at um, the other bot, but it breaks free. The photon energy is just too powerful, and it breaks free. Yep. Okay. So, so bot number two is going to try to hit sharp. And that is an eleven. So we're going to do eleven. Turn that on. That's a minus one. It's going to be a dice roll to hit. It needs to be my dex. What does it need to be? Really? Did I just roll a 17? Apparently, yeah. <laughs> you hit a DCV of 1. That's awesome. Oh, you missed the ground. I know. This Aww. is hilarious. I'm, the first time I'm shooting at my daughter, and I just terribly miss. Uh, so this <laughs> bot makes its blast <laughs> trying to come at you. It flies up. But it let's say there is some impact from that from the from the forced miss of what Cypher was doing, plus um, it just can't get a bead on you. Maybe it's because your energy blast is like distracting it, and it can't mm. it can't hit you. So it blasts, and it's a furious photon blast, like a dark blue energy, um, and it just blows past you. Uh, security bot number one goes. And so maybe I, maybe my reflection did work. Maybe. <laughs> nice. Maybe. I'm not giving you the benefit of it. It was my terrible roll. <laughs> the uh, the thing almost like rebuilds itself and faces back toward Sand Crab and um, tries to hit. There's six or less on its DCV. Sandcrab, is it going to hit? I don't think it's going to hit you, is it? 
Oh, you'd be wishing at six or less. Yes. Oh, come on. It's a nine OCV. It just, I rolled that again. No, it's an eight OCV. Oh, okay. Okay, so these things are trying to hit you. They're, you'd be wishing. <laughs> 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 it's your turn, Tim Grimm. This photon blast is blasted past you, uh, and it's still standing right in front or floating right in front of you. All right. Uh, Sand Crab will, gra- will reach out with his claws, grab, reach over it from, be- from like, behind it, and then grab it so that it's basically turned upside down facing the other one and oh. apply his strength against it to, to try to rip it apart. So he's got it in a grab. Okay, you want to try to roll to grab it? Yuppers. And he's trying to grab which bot? The one that, number one. Number yeah. one, okay. Well, you hit a DCV of 13, so... You're gonna get it. You grab it. Are you gonna squeeze it after you grab it? Oh, yeah. Special effect is he's trying to rip it apart. 47 stun, 13 body. Okay, so you... I don't think you need to worry about stun. You are... um, You can see it's, it's... Concaving in on itself by your squeezing. Nice. Yoki. It's it's barely holding on, right? It's barely holding on. Okay, security bot number one already went. Cipher, it's your turn. Uh, I aborted to reflect. Oh, okay. Um, so, just number six. He's running upstairs. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry, everybody. Soldier number six has gone up halfway up the stairs. Hmm. Wonder what's over there. The rest. Soldier number eight um, is um, is going to run inside this building. Um, coward. <laughs> wow. Strong words. He's there. No, that's, that's that's what Sharp is saying. Oh, like, she's actually saying it. Destroyer 7. Where is 7? See over here? <laughs> Ghost, do you yep. want to do anything with him? He's been sitting up on the uh, Yeah, he's trying to... Uh, oops. He's locked. Him out. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's locked. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he's going to uh, fly behind the car with a half move, which... He's taking cover under the car, or behind the car. And then he's going to fire a shot at the rear of Sand Crab. <laughs> That's awesome. Gonna try to hit you in the butt. <laughs> I know what my next maneuver is. It's about to kill a, a soldier. No, I pulled my punch. Give me a five. You, you <laughs> yeah. wish, yeah, yeah. You're dreaming that, yeah. So nothing. You don't hit. Oh well. It was worth the trip. It would have been funny, though. It would have been. Poor you, you shot me in the butt. Okay. Out. Okay, the last person to go will be... Um, well, second to last is Sharp, and then Green... Go- or, I don't know if Green goes on this phase or not, but Sharp, you do get to go. Cool. Um, Is it my turn? Yep, it's your turn right now. Cool. Um... Okay, so the bot number two, it, it is it like it's hovering in the air right now, right? Yes, it is. Um, now, depending on how far away I am, shooting at it really doesn't help, like my case. That's right. So, now the thing is, the other ability I have is I am a very strong person who knows martial arts. Right? Yep. Pop, drop. yep. So, can I, like, jump onto it and start like trying to like I don't know I would say rip it apart but am I strong enough for that? Yes, yes you are. Oh heck yes what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm doing and, that. And just be lucky that those are steel doors that you're on. And I will say, Cypher, you would have noticed the door <laughs> uh breaks off its hinge 
as she <laughs> steps up there, jumps up. What's her half? What's her half? Dark move? matter focus. Her half move is uh, is ten leaping. Yeah, ten. Uh, it's ten point seven to get there from her. Okay. And uh, she's gonna uh, need to push a little bit. It, yeah. Ten puts her in the oh. adjacent hex then. Yeah. So she's gonna need to push a little teeny bit to get to her to get to it. I'd say. Ten point six half, puts her on push? top of him. Yeah, a f- a five five endurance push or even less maybe if the GM allows a less lesser amount. But when I see it, if you go straight down from above, yeah, I'm trying. I mean, to you it. you can you can give it to her. I mean, that's okay. No, I'm trying to. No, it's ten point eight. So how yeah. do? You, but what does that do? Can you push your half move? You, is that basically what it is? You can push your movement. Sure, you can. So that half is still, because that's fine. It's still, a, it's still a half move. Yeah. Yeah, so I think that's fine. But what do you do on a push of a half? Five, you put you spend five endurance instead of ten, and it's enough to give her a plus five inches, which is going to give her two inches, two meters more movement. And she only needs one meter, and she's on it. Okay, so the hard part. No, your um her all of her extra stuff is no endurance because of the um. I don't oh, think she can't then you shoot. can't push it. Yeah, because all of her stuff are like these um, cybernetic implants and exoskeleton stuff. That is what the suit can do. She can't. That's not pushable. Yeah, if she it's can't. zero endurance, you can't push it. Am so, I still able to hop onto it? Well, you have to yeah. move through. You could, but then you wouldn't be able to attack it. Yes, you could do a move through. She could do a downward stomp and land on it and try oh. to stomp it down to the ground. I, I'll do that. I yeah. could do that. Yeah, I'm just gonna make you make a dex roll to not also hit the soldiers underneath him. Oh, if you unless you just want to, I mean, but they are. I mean, they're already entangled, no. but they're already entangled, so I'm not gonna. I'm no, not gonna worry about that. no, here's you're the entangled thing. Entangled should protect them a little bit. If I don't kill them, can I try to recruit them for my team? Interesting. You'd have to role play that in a journal and make some rolls. We can okay. do that off- offline though. Okay. Cool, cool. I'm, I can do that because I can use it against them. I didn't kill you. <laughs> okay, so maneuvers. This is the place you're going to do it. Go to the maneuvers tab. Yeah. And there is, what is it? A move through? Uh, it's on tab a, four for me. Marshal strike, leg sweep, and marshal block. Yeah, but you got to do the tabs down and you'll see it. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Now. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I have a move through. Okay, so with that... It's it, if you just click on it, it'll it'll make the roll for you. But your move through, you get a minus for velocity. And what's her velocity? So she's being able to get ten movement over there with that with that jump. Okay, so that would be a minus one, say. So that's nine. So she would still hit them though. Okay. Hit it. And does she get... How much more damage does she do because of that? Velocity? She gets her strength plus velocity divided by six. So that would be like one, one and a half extra dice. So you need to roll um, 11 and a half dice, um, Al. And uh, okay. you can do it on roll maker. You get 10 dice because of your strength with that, uh-huh. with that suit on. Um, and then because you are doing kind of gravity jumping down, you're going to get those a- additional one and a cool. half dice. So 11 and a half dice. And you so can you do, said roll maker? Yeah, roll maker. Make sure the oh, radio button it. is damage. And then just do the dice up to 11. And then there's a half die beside it. The checkbox. Okay, got it. And then do that and press roll now. Now, the real trick to this, for it to be very effective, is you have to get out of your chair and roll on the carpet. Stop, <laughs> 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 drop, and roll. Let's go. Oh, it's not. Is that? I don't know if it was a good roll or not. It doesn't feel like it. 31. Well, but 8. Bucks. No, it's not a good roll. Not a good roll at all. Thir- yeah, thir- 35 Ooh. is average for 10 dice, so. But that means she That's rolled lovely. a lot of 1s because she didn't even yeah. get the number of dice. Before 11, I mean, average was. Yeah. Like, I'm not doing well this game. Yeah, I got three ones, two twos, three, four, four, five, five, one. 
So as your character gets more experience, she'll be better with her attacks, and your rolls will be better. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Cool. You'll just okay. be able to to add more to that. Now, in okay. a move through, you take half of that damage. Um, oh, right. But that's sixteen and four. Your um, suit blocks all that. Yeah. So cool. the only thing you would do now is after you have jumped on top of it, better rolls with it. <laughs> <laughs> um, you you do knock it down. Um, so you have to roll. What do you use? Two dice for a move through. So you need to. Uh, um, does she have a martial maneuver on that as well, or no? No. Okay. So yeah, it would just be um, two dice. So, where you average, you had damage at 11 dice. Just make that 2 and take off the half die check and roll that again. We're going to help you get through the um, set. So, you did 8 body. You'd minus the 7 total that you rolled. That is 1. The multiply that by 2. That is the knockback that it's done. 2 meters of knockback. That's not going to hurt it, but it did go down into the ground. Okay. I mean, that's something. Yeah. I can start, like, messing with it on my next turn. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can yell. Can I yell at the guys, get out of the way, if they can move? Oh, yeah. And speech is a zero-phase action. Do anything you want. There. Okay, so, uh, yeah. yeah sure. They're all it's entangled. Like... Yeah, they're, they're covered in dirt and boulders. Yeah, they, they just uh, scream at them, but they're not going to go anywhere. <laughs> uh, heads up. <laughs> like, <laughs> heads up, you might get hit. Yeah, no. they've already been. That's the... No, I don't know if she can... I don't think she says anything. <laughs> no point. Okay, let's... Why can't I... I'm really trying. <laughs> I still can't get past... And I think, actually, we need to call it for the night. It's 30 minutes over our time, but um, we will pick up... We did start a little late. Yeah. Well, but I need to... I need to... All of us probably... Sleep, yeah, I uh, I am fading as well, but so remember Two in the morning to me. <sighs> yeah. So I will remember we are at segment we are into down segment four here, and security bot is in the grasp of the clutches of sand crab barely holding on to life, and sharp has jumped on to the other bot, but is. Definitely wrestling I, with it. I put in the player chat during games, I took a picture and sharp super leaps off the wall and lands squarely on the A125 doing minimal damage. Oh, man. Nice. Why is everything, it's like, she really tried to do something cool and it didn't work that well. That, <laughs> she's really cool, she's just not good at it yet. <laughs> well, now you know, well, now you know how, uh, how Robin and Batgirl feel. So. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, I think you were just made in the Cypher sidekick. Oh, man. <laughs> no, you gotta get out from under that. <laughs> He'll make you a bot. Uh, well, you know, she does have electronic equipment. Oh, no, she Technically, has... she does have a neural implant. She has a cyborg implant. already. <laughs> no, she's got cyber implants and neural implants. And... That oh. technically makes her a cyborg. Yeah. <laughs> okay, segment. Yeah, crab has implants. Next thing you know, sort of. Cypher's going to start like hacking into her neural implants. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> we're, 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 ideas. we're all worried about these things. See, I she she really makes an effort to befriend it's, Cypher. It's, it's so not this that bad. Happen. Cypher hacked into Sand Crab already once, and he <laughs> survived it. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> okay, but Sand Crab is Sand Crab. <laughs> and it a good Sharp, you have to, no, you it's have Sand to Crab. Remember that Sand Crab is my hero. So see, no, Sand Crab is Sand Crab, meaning he is strong. Sharp, as you can see, is trying her best. Oh, that's, you're not weak over here. What, do, what is your what is your weight with that density increase? I think it's oh, three levels. Yeah. Density increase. She's like insane. She weighs like a friggin' I don't even know. See, and but that's she, like hard. Oh, you know, if 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 the GM was feeling generous, I mean, if she has density increase, and and the description was that she was doing a downward stomp, not only would her density increase increase the knockback, but so would gravity, right? <laughs> Yeah, I, and it's a flying object, so it should have been one less dice of knockback. Yeah, I think uh, it wouldn't have hurt the thing, the one less dice. So it does get pulled, pushed into the ground, you know. 
I need to learn how much density increase um, turns into dice because she is jumping down and she weighs like three tons. Like she's... I don't think there's a. I, I think, think it's already a game factored mechanic. in. It's more uh... of a GM thing. Yeah, I think it's factor. Unfortunately, I think it's factored in with the strength. But oh yeah, you're right. you, you, no, you're yeah. right. You're right. That's I, I don't like getting things that you didn't pay for. So that's it's in the strength. It's exactly right. Yeah. Okay, this is fun. I hope everybody enjoyed the scenery and the game and the mood. Yeah, as, as usual, the, the, the effort that you're putting <sighs> into your scenes is paying in spades. It looks really great. Yeah. Oh, it looks phenomenal, yeah. Probably you have the best scenes I, I, I've seen. Wow, so scenes they're, they're, seen. they're really awesome. Thanks. I appreciate yeah, it. Really, really cool. They yep. really are. Before, before you uh, close off your... Um, your recording here. Huh? I had planned to do a scene with Lizen. Yeah. Okay. And so this is going to be the setup for it. You receive an email from the board of directors saying that you have to attend a meeting tomorrow at 10 a.m. or you're fired. Oh. Oh, okay. That's harsh. Okay. <laughs> He's really just saying, do this or I'll hate you forever. Yeah, you might want to duplicate that on the uh, posting board uh, and Discord. Mm. Nice. And? and how much XP do we get? Yeah, so these are these are generous ones. None. It has, we haven't finished the adventure yet. No, I do both on sessions. I do, I do my XP on sessions. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's appreciated. Yeah, let me read and get where. It needs to get there fast. <laughs> where is? Oh, you will. You will. I did too. So it'll happen to you. Yeah, it's double XP until you hit fifty. Yep. yep. So where is my Microsoft Teams? I want to see what I give for the storyline sessions. I think it's five, but I, maybe it's four. I think it's four. Storyline. Well, it was six. It was six last time, I recall. But maybe that was just double for some reason. Yeah, you were probably being double. Well, no, no, I remember it was six. So I think it got doubled more, yeah. So storyline sessions are four. Four, okay. And then if you're under 50 XP, you get double that. So, okay. So normal sessions are three. And if you were under 50, you got double, which would have been six. Yeah. Nice. Okay, that could make sense. All right. So yeah, I'll double that to eight. That now puts me at fifty-four. So and, uh, oh, down the regular XP. Join the yep. crew. Join the yep. crew. So this. Congratulations. Yeah. So yeah, storyline session four. Cipher was in and got four. Dragon Lady got eight. Ghost got four. Hotshot was not in. Liliana was not in. The rocket was not in. Lizen. GM, Max is not in, Rune Force is not in, Sandcrab got four, Sharp, first session gets double eight. Mm -hmm. That's it. Congrats. Am I leaving anybody out? One, two, three, four, five people. Okay. So now I've got thanks a lot, man. Yeah, thanks everybody for playing, and I am now trying to figure out how to save my job. Thanks for that cycle. Uh. I paid points yeah, yeah. for that. That is a points paid perk, so don't steal and, it. And is it, is, it, is it see you tomorrow night? Yeah, every, unless anybody's not in for it. I'm still on for tomorrow night. Yeah, see you tomorrow night. Yeah, a lot of these will continue tomorrow night. That's what we'll do. So. Well, thank you all so much for being patient with me and helping me through this. Heck yeah. 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 Hey, we were all very there. You're very creative in your in your use of powers already, so I think you're you're natural for this this genre for sure well thank you oh yeah you, you're you're a faster study than pretty much any beginner i've ever seen <laughs> oh, well thank you well and for all of us it's a we want the next generation of players too right most of us like we yes i don't know if that's greedy a, for new blood. <laughs> i don't know if anybody else feels that way but i do like that's a big deal for champions <laughs> so yeah yep. so all right thanks you guys i'm gonna stop the recording and we will continue this tomorrow night thanks again Take care. Yay. Take care. I put, I put something right. in in character chat too. Cool. I will read it. <laughs>